Oral history and fossil evidence shows that in ancient times a colourful native lorikeet lived on most of the southern Cook Islands and on nearby Rimatara in the Austral Islands. However, in the last 200 years, since around 1800, it has persisted on Rimatara alone. The Austral Islands of French Polynesia and the southern group of the Cook Islands form an island chain of more than 2,000 kilometres. The islands of the chain have a closely related biodiversity and share several unique species. Long hunted out of the existence for its beautiful feathers in the Cook Islands, the lorikeet survived in Rimatara because of the protection of Queen Tamaiva around 1900. The Tahitians called it Ura for its bright red colour. The Queen placed a tapu or prohibition on the bird so it would no longer be hunted. Today, because it is so rare, it is listed as endangered on the Red List of Threatened Species and it is protected under the International CITES Convention and by government legislation in French Polynesia. Fifteen years ago, the Cook Islands Natural Heritage Trust staff, Gerald McCormick and Judith Kunsley, travelled to Rimatara to study the bird and its habitat. So my first experience of Rimatara was when Judith and I landed here in 1992 and we landed down here in this passage in a little rubber dinghy and we came ashore to be met by the gendarme. We had very little idea of how many birds there were, but we set out to survey the bird, work out how many there were and work out their distribution. And it was during that visit that we conceived the idea that maybe we could reintroduce them to an area in the Cook Islands if we had a suitable island. The greatest threat to the Ura nowadays is the ship rat, Rattus Rattus. Fortunately, Gerald and Jurth found no evidence of ship rat, so for now, the birds were safe. So the, the reason for this project is essentially rats. And this is not the rat that we're concerned about, but this shows the threat to Rimatara though. Rimatara has the Pacific rat, which is a small, mainly vegetarian rat, which is not a problem to the lorikeet and to other small birds. It also has though, already introduced, since the missionaries would have come here, the Norway rat, this one here. Sometimes people call us the brown rat, but this is the big lumbering rat that you find in rubbish dumps and in cities and so on, on the lowland of many islands. But it shows that modern rats can come to this island. And so what we're concerned about is the rat smaller than this, the tree climbing rat, the black rat or ship rat. And that's the rat that we're really worried will come and destroy this population. But what if ship rats arrive hidden in cargo or swam ashore from the ship? The rats would multiply very quickly and before long they would be climbing the trees to eat ura eggs and hatchlings. Because the Rimatala lorikeet had previously existed throughout the Southern Cooks, Gerald had proposed that it could do so again, if there was an island free of ship rats. Ship rats were on most islands, but in 1994, a survey on Archu showed the absence of ship rat, and overnight, it became the island most suitable for a reintroduction program. After more than a decade of planning and complex negotiations, Gerald is on his way to Tahiti and then on to Rimutara to complete his mission of capturing 27 lorikeets to translocate to Archu. As on his last two trips, another queen is travelling with Gerald, the queen of Archu, Rongomatane Ariki. Friendly people of Archu just love to welcome visitors and share the unique features of this fascinating island. 
There are daily flights from Rarotonga and each Wednesday direct flights to and from Aitutaki. A choice of guest house and lodge accommodation is available for visitors to the island. So make a visit to Achu a feature of your stay in the Cook Islands. Air Rarotonga and local travel agents have the details.